Now that Woodgrove Bank has installed their new Hyper-V hosts, they will configure Windows failover clustering. The failover clustering feature supports Windows Server Hyper-V R2 live migration, which allows you to move running VMs from one Hyper-V host to another with no perceptible downtime. By placing these Hyper-V hosts into a failover cluster, Woodgrove Bank will turn these single silos of virtualization into an agile and available pool of resources that allows virtual environments to move to where the best fit for resources are available. With Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V, Live Migration requires the failover clustering feature of Windows Server 2008 R2. Here we will see the steps to configure failover clustering. The first step of this process is adding the failover clustering feature to all cluster nodes. Woodgrove Bank is configuring a three-node cluster. The cluster members will be SEA-WSHV-01, 02, and 03. The second and third servers already have the failover clustering feature added, so we only need to add this feature to SEA-WSHV-01. The next step is to create a new failover cluster. We'll add all three host machines as members of this cluster, and we'll bypass the cluster validation wizard. For administrative purposes, the cluster will be named SEA-WSHV-CLU-01 and assigned the IP address of 192.168.0.250. In the Woodgrove Bank environment, an Internet Small Computer Serial Interface Storage Area Network, or iSCSI SAN, is in use. With the three-node cluster configuration in use here, the node majority quorum type is used by default. This quorum type can sustain failures of half the nodes rounding up minus one. For example, a seven-node cluster can sustain three node failures. Here we are verifying that the iSCSI volume that is mapped to the Q drive is used for the cluster quorum. And you can see here that all three Hyper-V servers are listed as cluster nodes. Cluster Shared Volumes, or CSV, is a new failover clustering feature in Windows Server 2008 R2 that allows all nodes in a cluster concurrent access to data on each CSV-enabled shared disk. CSV is used in conjunction with the Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V role to provide more reliable live migration of virtual machines and simplify SAN management by reducing the number of logical unit numbers, or LUNs, required to achieve maximum VM flexibility. Woodgrove Bank has chosen to implement CSV in order to take advantage of the simplified administration and greater fault tolerance offered by this feature. Here you can see we've used the Failover Cluster Manager to enable CSV. This setting takes effect on a cluster-wide basis. After enabling CSV, any shared storage that supports SCSI persistent reservations can be added to the CSV namespace. In this case, we're adding Cluster Disk 2, which is an iSCSI volume. CSV facilitates failover granularity at the VM level. Multiple VMs can be placed on a single CSV and can failover or live migrate individually rather than as a group. CSV greatly simplifies SAN management because CSV eliminates the need to allocate a single LUN for each VM. CSV uses dynamic I.O. redirection to provide several types of high availability. When configured with CSV storage, Hyper-V failover clusters can survive network connectivity failures between cluster nodes and the shared storage, failure of a cluster node, and failure of connectivity between cluster nodes. Even if a cluster node is hosting VMs, the VMs will continue to access the shared storage through redirected I.O. CSV provides these benefits without new infrastructure requirements beyond those needed for failover clustering. CSV requires no special hardware, no special agents, and no proprietary file system, and CSV imposes no file type restrictions or directory structure limitations. By simplifying cluster configurations and increasing cluster resistance to hardware failure, CSV helps facilitate lower total cost of ownership. Redirected access mode occurs automatically if there is a connectivity failure between cluster nodes and a CSV member volume. 
Note that you can also manually enable redirected access mode. CSV can significantly simplify storage management for Hyper-V administrators by creating a common namespace under the root directory, typically c colon backslash cluster storage. The cluster storage namespace eliminates the reliance on drive letters for cluster storage. Using CSV, a server can be configured with more than 24 volumes without running out of drive letters. When a cluster disk is added to the cluster shared volume group, the drive letter is stripped and a directory entry such as slash volume 1 is created in the c colon backslash cluster storage directory and mapped to the CSV volume. The CSV namespace is similar to a symbolic link. Access to c colon slash cluster storage slash volume 1 does not actually read data from or write to data from the C drive at all, but instead redirects to the underlying CSV disk. The c colon slash cluster storage namespace is common on all nodes in the cluster. Each node has the same contents in the c colon slash cluster storage directory. The shared namespace, elimination of drive letters, and the opportunity to associate multiple VMs with a single CSV all provide easier administration for the cluster and Hyper-V. Woodgrove Bank will eventually store all highly available VMs in the CSV namespace we just set up. Begin your evaluation of Virtual Machine High Availability by downloading the free evaluation versions of Windows Server 2008 R2 and Virtual Machine Manager from Microsoft.com.